Hello and welcome to this lesson on the two tunes, the Earl of Mansfield and Corn Rigs. The Ladies Morris side that I play for do a dance to these two tunes and it's called May the Fours. Um, so obviously a Morris dance lasts for quite a long time and it involves lots of repeats, uh, but if you're playing for fun at home, uh, then I suggest you just play uh, the four pages as written. The whole tune, amazingly, is played in one position. I have talked in other lessons about getting your right hand position uh, set and moving around. Actually, in this tune, we're going to keep it in what we call pos minus one, which is position minus one. Now, um, we're in the key of G, so if I find my G note, which is this note here, fourth note down, this is a fourth button start instrument, if I put my first finger on that fourth button and my second finger on the fifth button and so forth uh, and push in, I get the notes G, B, D, G. That's why I call position H the home position. If I move up one from that and my first finger is on the third button, second finger is on the fourth and so forth, then I'm in what I call position minus one. And we actually stay in that position all the way through the tune. There are a couple of times where we move over in a diagonal, and I'll explain about that. But generally speaking, you are in that one position the whole way through. The first bar is a pickup bar. It's only got one crotchet in it there. Now there's four beats to the bar, so obviously that crotchet is on beat four. So you'll count one, two, three, four, and go into your first proper bar. So it comes in on beat four. It's finger one. If you've got a third button start instrument, that'll be uh, the uh, second button down. If you've got a fourth button start like me, it's the third button down. So in the first proper bar, uh, where you can see the A mark, or the A rehearsal mark, you've got your second finger on the root note, G. And we do this. We play the G on the push, still on the push from the previous bar. We do push, pull, push. That's a dotty crotchet, quaver crotchet. And then the first finger falls nicely on that D again at the end of the bar. So the timing is one, two, and three, four. The left hand there is G bass, G chord, G bass, G chord. And notice how the G chord, the first of those G chords, that comes before you play the A. While that dotty crotchet is still ringing, if you like. Uh, we've got some dagger notes there, so uh, for me that means you're going to press the button down and keep it pressed down for three notes. Like that, see? So, now on stave two you have bar two, and we have the second finger on the note G, uh, and we do a push-pull to get a G and an A, so that's a dagger note and do the same thing with the third finger on this note here, which is B on the push, C on the pull. So you have push, pull, push, pull, nice and easy. And the little finger falls nicely on the note D on the push, and come back to the B on the push also. And it's still G bass note, G chord, G bass note, G chord. So from the beginning, one, two, three. 